In this video, we're going to show you how to quickly change a flat tire and get you on the road again in no time. Let's get to it. The first thing you need to do is make sure your car is on solid, level ground. If not, slowly drive to a suitable spot. If you don't, your jack might sink in the ground or your car might slide off your jack. Also, always make sure the emergency brake is engaged or your car is in park. When your car is in a good spot, you gotta find your spare tire jack and wrench. Usually, these are located under your trunk. Make sure the spare tire isn't flat or cracked. Replacing one flat tire with another is not gonna help. And remember, depending on the type of spare tire, speed and distance might be limited, so make sure to verify this. If you have a hubcap covering your lug nuts, remove this first. Then take your wrench and break the lug nuts loose while the car's still on the ground. If you jack the car up first, you won't be able to put force on it and you'll just spin the wheel instead. If you have safety lug nuts, use the key to remove them. It's usually located close to the spare tire. Now it's time to take your jack. There are three types of jack stands found in a car. A scissor jack, which is the most common type, a mechanical bottle jack, and a hydraulic bottle jack. These all work perfectly fine. Both the scissor jack and the mechanical bottle jack work by hooking the handle to the jack and winding it clockwise. To lower it, just turn the other way. For our mechanical bottle jack, we first need to connect the jack handle driver to an extension and then use our lug wrench as a handle to wind the jack up. The hydraulic bottle jack works by inserting the handle and pumping it. Make sure the relief valve is closed, otherwise it won't hold pressure. To lower it, use the end of the handle to twist open the relief valve. Because our Jeep has a mechanical bottle jack, we're going to use this one. Take your owner's manual or jack instructions manual and look for your car's jacking points. Don't jack the car up on a random spot, you might damage it. Once you've verified the jacking points, place your jack in the right position and lift the car up. Only raise the car up until the flat tire is about an inch or two from the ground and make sure the opposite tire is still touching the ground. Now loosen the nuts further, leaving the top one for last so the tire doesn't tilt off. Make sure you place them somewhere safe so you don't lose them. Before removing the last nut and taking the tire off, remember to never, ever go under your car. Don't put your legs underneath it while taking the tire off. Don't put your hand under the tire or car and don't crawl or look under your car. If the jack gives out or the car slides off, you could get seriously injured or worse. The next step is to take off your tire. With older vehicles like ours, the wheel might be a bit stuck, so you'll have to wiggle it in all directions and give it a few hits for it to come loose. When it's off, place it underneath your car as an extra safety measure. Take your spare tire and place it in front of the wheel hub, lining up the bolts with the holes. Don't put your feet under the tire to help lift heavier wheels when using an emergency jack. Keep all body parts from under the car at all times. Place the wheel on there and put the first lug nut on hand tight. Then press the wheel on further and hand tread the other lug nuts. This might be difficult with older wheels, but it is important to get the lug nuts threaded by hand so you don't force them on incorrectly with a wrench and damage the threads. Next, tighten the lug nuts softly while in the air before lowering the car back down again. With the car back on the ground, tighten the lug nuts firmly in a star pattern. Do this twice to make sure all of the nuts are properly tightened. And before driving off, make sure no tools are left underneath the car. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and share. It helps out the channel a lot. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you don't miss any of our uploads. More videos are on the way, so we'll see you on the next one.